for the fighting games and interested in the puzzle fighters, uh, give us a shout. I'm the tank. You can give me a shout on Twitter at the tank GA, and I'll try and get you in. I'd love to. Well, if I have more people around my skill level, well, I'll be much more motivated to play more puzzle fighters. Oh. I don't really use Twitter. I just use Instagram, to be honest. The grams. It literally bars senpai. <laughs> yeah. All I do is just post photos for whatever conventions I go to. That's it. I hear you. Yeah. This is my first time at uh, Southern Fried Gaming, and I like it. Yeah, it it's too. very calm today. It's a lot less hectic than when Awa's here. Yes. Awa is uh, <laughs> That's a trip. I came in 2017. Mm. I beat... Uh, Hime Cut, Corey Kim, and Guilty Gear. That was no. the first time I ever beat him in tournament. He was so pissed. I got in his head, man. Nice. But I wasn't able to go to AWOL. You'll last have year. to forgive me, though. I, I actually don't know much on the fighting side oh, of things. Yeah. Alright. And this is a loser size match. This was Big Bait, so you just saw a moment ago. And I can't remember this guy's name, but he I, showed up. I played him early, and I unfortunately yeah. forgot his name. Uh, yeah, you went for the four wide the first round, four wide the second round, and the ZT cannon for the third round. But you messed up your, uh, your side four wide to combo after the ZT cannon. Luckily, it didn't matter. Yeah. I've been... Oh, no, no, it's, it's, it's fine. Good. Whoa. What is this center four wide? I like it. Yeah, Big Bates came out the gate swinging. It looks All like right. he got some good bags with how consistent uh, that three chain is. coming up. Good oh, defense here. Nice swap timing. All right, big baits. Better start clearing that. Let's see. Can he yeah. get out? Oh, uh, he. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh. Yes, okay. he did the spin. Spun the wrong way the first time, I guess. Mm. Seven, eight, nine. Yes, he knows the. No, nope, oh. didn't have the piece. If he hit that 10, that might have been a KO. Probably. Ah, uh, and he has a swap combo. Let's see what he can make of it. Mm. Peace All finally right. came out, but it's All not right. the one he's looking for. Just a 2. See what Zed's defense is over here. Two, three. Ooh. Mmm. Yeah. Go Bates. P1 didn't have much in the way of defense. Uh, to or already set up on the swap. Let's see. Uh, this looks like Bates is. Going? Well, no, you can't go center forward. Oh, there you go. Yeah. All right. Yes. What are you going to do with it? You shouldn't have switched into it, Bates. Ooh. Well, I mean, if you could clear some lines, you might be able to clean it up. That's true. But of course, that's not uh -uh. Uh, Tetris swap over there. Mm -mm. Let's see if he can build his Puyo fast enough to really capitalize on it, though. That's true. Because if not, it's just going to be, what, a line? Uh, line and a couple. A li line and a half, probably. Uh, yeah, I don't know what all the uh, the garbage patterns are for Puyo are until you get to Rock. I believe Rock was 30 garbage Puyos. Good boy. Oh, has the IP some store. Oh. Little two combo going in the Tetris there. It's going to be a quick six lines over to Bates. What is the gentleman on the left going for? He has an opportunity for a... Mm. Well, he would have had to clear some to make a T-spin set up. Yeah, you know, this is definitely one of the toughest parts of the game. When you your Tetris board is a bit messed up, you're unsure about what to do. But I feel like when it comes to Tetris, it's a speed game. You just have to keep clearing lines until you get that clean board. Absolutely. That's something that, you know, a lot of people set up their, their Tetris well, and they leave their top really, really messy. Maybe have some holes in it, because they're yeah. only concerned about the first two Tetrises. And it leads them to a pretty defenseless position afterward. Yeah. 
But like, if you have to clear lines in order to clean up, I say clean up. Oh yeah. Pretty messy right here. He's gonna take those three clears, but he's gonna have to do a lot of work and be IP's dependent. All right, he's probably gonna get a triple. No, I guess I was a single. I Tetris couldn't tell. Two. No, Big Bait's not able to finish. Well, All right. if he'd spun it the right way, he could have got an extra combo okay, right I there. Might never mind. That's a one chain from Bates. Two chain from the gentleman on the left. Oh, Bates, be careful. Okay, that didn't go in the third column. Oh, kind of close. Mm. Not gonna do anything he, with he that. He could. Okay, yes. He could do a two, two chain. He has it. All right, two chain on the swap. Just no way to combo up here. All right, clearing line. Put that down. Yeah. Down stacking a little bit. Bates is playing like he's feeling the pressure over on Tetris side, but hasn't looked over at John Coon's board to see nothing's really coming. Ah, uh, yes, we finally have a name for our mystery man. And I feel bad. Cause I just <laughs> I'm it's all right. I if I knew all of my opponents' names from bracket, uh, I'd be a wizard. I don't think anybody really does. Well, hopefully we will. Right. Bates gonna do a two chain uh, with a simultaneous right, a clear double. in there. Yes. No. Ah, it just runs yeah. out of combo opportunity. Mm. Bates not aware of that hole that he left over there, and at this point, John Coots board is looking pretty darn good, honestly. Mm. One chain, not gonna do too much damage. Oh, face with a, a little chain. free chain. There we go. Oh, that, oh, I believe we've hit margin time. For those who don't know, margin time, I believe it's after, what, 96 seconds, and then the garbage just increases by a lot. Ah, so Bates was right about that. Yes. And I believe it's been a thing in the Puyo Puyo games for years now. I I gotta yeah. say this is my first Puyo Puyo game, mm. and it is rare that I get to survive that long. <laughs> mm. All right. Whoa. Okay. John Kuhn answering back. Early in that round, he was not looking very confident, but he really brought it back. I like this. I believe we have an even match on our hands. I'll say those long rounds mean one of two things: they either don't know what they're doing at all. Or they're doing a really good back and forth and pretty strong defensive plays. And I think it's also the nerves. Oh, definitely. Both these players, you know, uh, you, you can come out of the Puyo gate holding down, know what you're doing, hmm. get a read on the third next piece, and they're just taking their time. Of course, I'm sure like most North American players, they're probably a little bit more confident in their Tetris. Yeah, that, that's a good generality, I would say. Mm, ah, all right, clean center for wide from Bates. A clean Tetris well from Mr. Jonokun. Bates, and they both have swap combos. Although Bates is gonna set his off a little bit too early. Mm, yeah, should have oh. waited. No, that. That's some uh, good garbage to dig out yeah, of. That was. So, hmm. Not only that, he has that uh, center four wide well, so I can't imagine what that's going to do after the swap. All right. Um, no. Better keep stacking, Bates. Mm, he doesn't have the right use. Right mm. uh, and then here comes the risk of doing center for a while when you don't get the right pieces and then the other player gets to do either Tetris combos or key spins. I'll tell you what though, that was some great down stacking from Bates. That's true. That being said, when John Kuhn gets back to Tetris Ward, provided he survives that long, he should be coming up on another eyepiece hey, here soon. Ooh. Is he going to dig himself out? Hmm. All right, keep digging. And yes, as hard as it is to dig out from that high, if you can dig with a two chain, that's great. 
because you never know, those, those two chain harasses could definitely mess up the other player's Puyo Bar at any moment. If you're especially strong Puyo player as well, you'll take those two chains to set up for garbage clears and get even bigger chains next time. Oh, you mean like an all clear? Not, not an all clear necessarily, but um... You know, uh, leave like a one garbage Puyo so that you clear it and you, uh, you, you leave triggers unexposed and stuff. I don't mm. know, the terminology evades me. Uh, oh, oh, oh no, no, that's it, yeah. Mm. Good stuff. Okay. John Kuhn dug himself out of some big garbage early on, but that final one was too much for him to handle. Setting up for the center four wide again. Uh, take your time, Bates. There All you right. go. He got it. Better to be slow and accurate than it is to uh, destroy your stack. Good old Aesop. Setting up for a side Tetris well over here. Decides to burn All it right. early. That may not have been the best time to uh, do it. But can he swap? With yes, he did. He did. That Well, I take it back. <laughs> That's a great time to do it. Mmm, Bates, you better stack vertically. Uh, mm. Not too much damage. He was able to combat it with one swap combo of his own. We'll see if Bates has the SP going back to the Tetris board, though, to keep up that four wide. Mm, that's right. Oh, he does? Uh, yeah, oh, but that's he switches out of it? No, he. there is no way to spin that in. It, it wouldn't have gone. Oh. Man, yeah, you're right. You're there, right. There, there's a... S and Z spins are very weird. You just have to have certain spots covered, otherwise it won't go in. What you gonna do? Got the Tetris going in. Oh, but we got oh, Tetris oh, on both sides. Oh, okay, cancel. Both swap. Cancel. All right. And John Kuhn is a little bit more yeah. to work with. Not sure. Oh, because Bates got the swap oh. combo. Hmm. Okay. Now what's going on here? I I was watching I, very I intently and could not figure out how the garbage went that way. I, well, there's a two chain setup for John and Uh, just gotta get the red to set it off. All right. Are you gonna do a Tetris well, Bates? Yes, he did. All right. Now he's just going for a little bit of down stacking here. Um, uh, gotta start clearing lines. Ooh. Good looking stuff oh for John man. Kuhn. Mm. Bates not in any good position really here on the either board. Hmm. Two. Okay, yes. Okay. Indeed. Alright, what's he gonna do? Alright, a one chain. It's gonna clear down a little bit more. Oh, uh, like. uh, uh, two chain on the swap with Bates. Hopefully that'll help. All right. Digs himself out pretty well. Dig. Oh, he's doing a great job down stacking yeah. over here. Mm. Ideally, you down stack in a way that combos, but if you have to put down two pieces just to survive, not the worst. Mm, definitely not. Mm -mm. That being said, depending on Bates' next piece, he could top out immediately. Well, okay, two chain. Hmm. John Kuhn, uh, a little bit of defense right here. Of course, doesn't need to worry too much about it. Very even game. Mm. Oh, just barely slides uh. out. All right. Pretty ugly board. Uh. Oh no. Uh. Oh, mm, that's, that's it. gonna be it. Yeah. Good stuff to John Kuhn, keeping it even. This is the last round. Hmm. All right, looks like Bates is going for a GTR setup. Uh, never mind. <laughs> You know, I never learned the term GTR. 
until I started going to tournaments for this game. Really? Yeah, all I knew it as is, uh, okay, I'm just going to make a sort of snake-like chain mm -hmm. on one side. <laughs> That's all it was to me. Nope, spun the wrong way. Oh, oh no. IP spins or... Oh, the frustration Not spins. the most logical thing. Mm. Violet Squirrel and Chris Clover. Hmm. Oh. Had to get rid of that tape. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> oh, two chain from Bates. Alright, and he's going to clear the garbage. Let's say if he'd waited for this piece, probably could have had a two chain there. Let me say, Bates. Uh, a little bit off on his mental math. Mm. Yeah, that's that's tough. He was waiting for that eyepiece to fill that left side. Uh, Bates, that is. Yeah. Mm. Well, I could have set up a T-spin right there. Gotten a or started a back-to-back. -back. He's actually in a pretty good position to build for a Tetris well. Uh, oh, Bates, you can clear it. Or okay, that works. Let's see, what is Mr. John Kuhn doing? Let's see, if he dropped those purples over there, but had a two chain, not been in a too bad of a position. Mm. I will say, John Kuhn was on fire earlier. Yeah. I could have sworn he had like a, a five or a six chain in one game. I think you're right. It really must be the nurse. You never know. Sometimes when puzzle games are not your, you know, your bread and butter, you'll have these amazing outbreaks of skill, and you're like, yes, I get this. You know what? That's true. I like that. that that's why I love these tournaments. You never know what sort of magic's gonna happen. Okay. Let's see. This is honestly not too bad of a position for John Kuhn to break out of. And provided that Bates has a um, L piece coming up next, yeah. when we go back to Tetris, this might be a really uh, good combo right. setup for John him. John Kuhn, a two chain. Yes. All right. With a swap combo. Tell you what, good stuff for John Kuhn, but Bates was just in a great position to break out. Mm. All right. I'm gonna spin that eyepiece. Yeah, they both the really checkers. want those Tetris walls. Bates gonna time it for the swap combo. Yes, Has does. a little bit of ammunition over here on Puyo's side. And the double. not able to do anything with it. Mm. Oh. Nasty garbage. And go. a two chain. Oh. Hmm. So we have another Tetris well over here on John Kuhn's side. Yes. And now it becomes a chase. It has to Ooh. spin his eyepiece. And Bates, uh. Struck iron first. Uh, can you two chain? Two yeah, I think there you go. They're both pretty darn slow on the Puyo. Not as a diss, but as a fact. Uh, right. Bates is just a little bit faster on the Tetris yeah. side. But I think John Kuhn has kind of stumbled his way into a little bit more powerful Puyo side. Ooh, that's. Oh, oh whoa. Topped okay. him out immediately. Good stuff to John Kuhn. Wow. John Kuhn knocking out Big Bates. Very even. And yes, I believe it's my turn, so I gotta go. All right, Bar Senpai, good luck. Thank you. I think Bates is going to join me again on commentary. All right. We're actually going to have another one of Georgia's finest puzzle players. I don't know about finest. I just kind of plays casually. I think you're all right, though. How's it going? Not bad. You want to introduce yourself to the Not stream? Bad. I am Vincent Kim. Um, I'm a good friend of Marco and everything. I run a, we're a part of a StormX League. I run the Atlanta League of Music Gamers. All right. Part of the rhythm game scene, so hey, gotta take it on board. 
Rhythm games, fighting games, puzzle games. We all find our way together. We're all family in the end. Heck yeah. You been over to the uh, the pinball and other arcade area? Yeah, that's where we are. Just helping okay. out at Arcade Impact. Oh, okay. Cool. Cool. Got some fighting game cabs over there, so. Yeah, I was over there earlier. Played some Tekken, played some Soul Calibur. Yeah. All right, we got Bara Senpai versus not John Kuhn. Okay, so this is winner's finals. Uh, what we've been doing for this tournament is... Oh, oh, Nani went out. Okay. No, I just saw the black hair. I was like, oh, it's Bara Senpai. No. Okay. Yeah. There's quarters. Uh, still doing first of three rounds then. Okay. Just a one chain there on the swap. Let's see if Samari is going to be able to build up fast enough on Tetris side. Ooh. Not even take her advantage of it. Kara trying to get this over with quick. Building an incredibly high four wide. Four. Gonna leave that one in there for the swap combo. Oh yeah. Two. Ah, uh, doesn't quite clear the yeah. garbage. <laughs> Let's see, Samari is going to have to do a lot of effort right here to dig herself out. Alright. If she survived back to Puyo, it would have been over immediately yeah. anyway. The game kind of gives you a last hurrah. If garbage comes in during the switch, you're allowed to play one more board. Actually, some really great pieces and good placement from Samari over here. Opting to go very vertical. But I think Kara kind of picked up on Samari's lack of speed and is saying, right. I'm going to go horizontal, go yeah. for big stuff. Actually, good stuff. Fights the three chain with a three chain. Yeah. Just had a little bit less Puyos involved. Three. <laughs> Samari so had the opportunity to set up a T spin there. Right. Didn't take advantage of it. Alright, little two chain. Trying to mitigate the damage done. And now has to work with a, a fresh half board. Yeah. Kara opting to stop her combo a little bit short, but then pick it right back up again. She could get to 10 on this, I want to say. Yeah. Gonna have to pick it back up in the next board. Oh, well, if we go back to Tetris, it's already over for Somari. Yeah. Yeah, isn't able to drop the piece in the right place. Yeah. I gotta say, um, a lot of the people who came up and registered, just talking to them, they were Tetris players. I've been pretty surprised by how quickly people have picked up Puyo Puyo. Yeah. Kara right, setting up for that four wide again. Just yeah. has to get rid of a piece, piece or two. Oh, that's a good way to get rid of those. Yeah. I'm still in the, the learning stages of this game, and if I get a bag that I perceive as bad, I'm, I'm just done. Yeah. My four wide is gone, and my brain shuts down. I'm just trying to improve on my Puyo chaining. I got to chain you. faster. Yeah, I think Puyo is one of the harder ones to, yeah. uh, to be effective in. Every moment that you're not hard dropping or quick dropping it just takes that much longer yeah Par 
Buffet. Catch us over there from Somari. It's good defense. And this is a huge chain over here from oh, Kara. Yeah. Seven chains. Oh, good lord. We got the star. And Ooh, that's going to be it. That's, yeah. Probably actually could have stalled it out. Made a, you know, made the switch garbage. Yeah. Would have had to win it in the next board, mm -hmm. though. And that's really hard to do against Kara. Yeah. <laughs> that's Kara for you. Yeah, she is a fantastic she's player. Yeah. And she, um, I don't know if she's Korean born, just has Korean family, or how she made it happen, but... Okay. Okay, Korean born. Oh, she was born in the U.S.? Well, okay. I don't know. Anyway, Kara is one of the few legacy Puyo players instead of legacy Tetris players. Right. So her, her mastery in Puyo is just apparent <laughs> at all times. <sighs> and this is going to be John Kuhn going up against Kara again. Uh, Marco, are we going to be streaming Soul Calibur immediately after this, correct? All right, guys. Uh, as we're prepping for this next match, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the coming hours and coming days. Immediately following Puyo Puyo Tetris, we are going to be streaming Soul Calibur 6, another free entry tournament here at Southern Fry Gaming Ex Expo. And then after that, we have Guilty Gear Exard and Dragon Ball Fighters. Stick around for those. After this match, I'll tell you all about Saturday and Sunday. Kara setting up that four white again. That's the signature at this point. John Kuhn though. Got a little two combo there, but unfortunately when you're fighting a four white, giving them just a small amount of garbage often just feeds them power. Right. <laughs> Which, you know, it might not be a tech that John Kuhn is familiar with. Uh, nobody I, I think well, Baro Senpai did it just to change up strats a little bit. Mm -hmm. Went for the DT Cannon early, but for those of you who are watching or are interested in learning, yes, the 4 wide is very strong, but you can really limit a player's ability to do such devastating combos if you start with a high damage combo yourself. And one of the most efficient ways to get lines over is to do a DT Cannon. Man, no mercy. Yeah. She, she's ready to get this over with, mm -hmm. man. What's up? Yeah, the DT Cannon is a quick way to send four lines on the first T-Spin double, DT double triple, yeah. followed immediately by a T-Spin triple, and that gives you a back-to-back -back bonus as well, and mm -hmm. it sets up into a side four wide. Right. Side four wide, not as safe as a middle four wide, but after you started your combo like that, it doesn't matter much. Mm. I actually thought we were going to see a short two wide combo from John Kuhn on the side. Right. If he had a uh, J piece there to hang off the edge, mm. set up for a T spin into a two wide. Uh oh. Oh. Gonna need some very efficient Puyo movement to survive. Gotta save a green for the Ooh. switch. All right, we made it through. Wow. Just, Just barely on the edge. Wow. Oh, could have comboed for the down stack. Oh. Kara, just do your combo. She's still building higher. Right. Just go for it. Not gonna be able to make the swap, and that is a KO. Mm, yeah. 
All right, John Kuhn on his last legs. Fuyo start. He's been surviving a bit better over here. If he can get those two and three chains mm -hmm. going, maybe he can hold Kara back a yeah. little bit. I love the Puyo theme. Same. It's just... It's simultaneously energizing and calming. Yeah. I'm just glad we just got the franchise here. Again, oh, yeah. officially in the West. Yeah, Puyo Puyo Champions also released recently. Oh, yeah. I remember when that first came out in the... Um, see it, like, on the eShop, and I got it. I Thank heavens for Japanese accounts. Yeah. For me, as a primarily fighting game player, I foresee myself oh, a little five combo on the side here, Ooh. but Kara counters that with the Tetris. But for me as a fighting game player, I foresee myself sticking mostly with PPT. Uh, just because it seems like it's going to be the dominant tournament right. presence. Yeah. But PPC, you know, a dedicated Puyo game in America that's already put out in a competitive format is going to be great. Kara takes it. Three rounds to none. Good stuff to Kara. I think... Yep, she's back up again. <laughs> okay, this is actually still winner's side. Huh. Right? All right. No, no, no. Okay, Bar Simba's going to come up winner's finals. Kara is just taking care of some menuing. Man... Music I, in this game. It's so good. Only thing I wish that you could change the individual games BGMs for swap mode. Yeah, that'd be neat. Cause there's like 20 Tetris themes for verses. Wow. And there's like 18 or 19. Yeah, it's around that much. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if you're watching and you haven't picked this game up yet, I think it's on sale on Steam right now for like 12 or 13 bucks. Probably same on PSN. They yeah. generally go on sale at the same time. Uh, PC scene thrives a little bit more than PS4 does. Uh, if you want to play on PSN, you'll probably have to hit up people indiv individually. But PC, as long as you have good internet, it's not unlikely to fight somebody all the way around the world going in both directions. Yeah. All right, so since this is winner's finals, this is going to be first of five first of rounds. Five. All right. Yes, we're starting off a little bit faster here. Bar Senpai going for the DT cannon. Little yeah. Frank left the hole, unfortunately not going to leave him with much defense. Mm. Actually, Bar Senpai going to let the T-spin triple lead into a really long four wide. Or four wide before the T-Spin yeah. triple. Pretty similar Puyo boards from both players. Little Frank. In a good position for a three chain? A four chain. Ooh. Five chain. Oh. This guy was impressing me when I was playing him casuals earlier, too. That was some crazy clean garbage oh, on the yeah. Mars side. And unfortunately, it looks like that hole that little Frank left is going to come back to bite him. Right. Has to spend a lot of extra time and pieces here trying to clean up. Mm. Uh-oh. If our senpai goes in with a swap combo, Ooh, man, that yikes. could be it for little Frank. Yeah. It's definitely an unfortunate thing uh, about the less experienced players. Right. Is they'll they'll blow all of their fuel a little bit too early. Yeah. A chain. That's gonna be Ooh. it. Gotta survive. Yeah. I was gonna say, generally, if you get like a rock right there, yeah, you can take half of it in the Puyo side and maybe survive just a little bit. Right. But a star and a moon, no.
Little Frank actually a pretty fast Puyo player. Let's see, Bar Senpai just gonna leave the fuel for the swap from Tetris. Yeah. Awesome six chain on the swap here, but not gonna be able to capitalize on it with a swap combo. Probably could have spun that L in, but he's some pretty clean garbage. Alright, Mr. Kim. Big Bait's gonna step back in for Mr. Kim. All right, all right, all What's right. What's good, man? We're actually live this time. Are we really? Yeah. Sweet, sweet. We got we got the internet now that we're out of the Stone we Age. We weren't live when I was playing, right? Yeah, we were. Oh. You did great, dude, until you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, little Frank I needs to take part of this on Puyo's side. Uh-oh. That's going to be it. Going to run out of fuel right here. I know we're into the later side of the bracket, but how fast everybody's moving. <laughs> Good stuff, Bar Senpai closing that one out. So say, yeah, this is winners finals. Oh, this is winners finals. Yeah, this is winners finals. So Bar okay. Senpai up three to nothing right now. Mr. Let's Streamer, a kill not looking at us or having a headset on. So Bar Senpai working at four Y. Like I said, Mr. Streamer, Bar Senpai is up three to zero right now. Yeah, tell him to fix that uh, overlay, son. Ah, it's all good. Did they switch it to five? Uh, no. Okay. Oh, uh, he's about to confirm that bad baby. Okay, so he got two chains on there. He's gonna set up a G. He's doing a GTR setup. He's almost done with his GTR. All right, so he's got his three chain ready. Now he's gonna try to build on top of it. And my man is going at light speed right now. <laughs> Yeah, I was remarking to Mr. Kim earlier, this little Frank guy, he seems to be a pretty competent and somewhat fast Puyo player, but against Bar Senpai, just getting kind of outclassed. Dude, he destroyed me. Oh, yeah. Ah, uh, Bar Senpai drops his four wide. Yup, and he's just going to go ahead and build it up again. Actually, going to leave little Frank in a good position. Man, look at my man. No wasted movement on this four wide. Oh, he slowed down. He had to think about it a little bit. And you know what's the beautiful thing about 4 wide? It's what's so that? versatile. Like, you can, oh, yeah. You can just be like, you know what? This ain't working out. I'm going to just start building it. Again. It's the hardest setup to build, but it is by far the most flexible combo. Yeah. Until you get some crappy bags. All right. Now, uh, Mr. Frank got something going on over there. Four Good chain. Lord. Four chain with some simultaneous clears in there. And uh, Bar now Bar Senpai just confirms his. He's gonna swap combo and he's gonna into swap the four combo. wide. Woo! Dumb sound effects is going off. Dropping the four wide. Golly! Yeah, that was a, a lot of Tetrinos over there. The more noise the game is making, that's how you know you're getting <laughs> devastated. It's like, good lord. Man, look at. Okay, so he set up a GTR again, Mr. Bar Senpai, and. Um, I forgot what uh, Mr. Frank. I think he's setting up a sandwich. If that's what it's, I think that's what it's called. Yeah, he's got some sandwich pieces in there. I remember reading on Puyo Nexus recently, but not recently enough. Uh, there's a terminology difference between the American and the Japanese scene. Oh, really? What we call the sandwich, they call the key. But what we call the key, uh, PC oh, PC. Oh, my man got a perfect somebody. clear with a swap combo. That's gonna hurt. Okay, this is manageable. He can do it. Yeah, little Frank actually cleared a little bit uh, uh, for the PC. Able to salvage a bit. Uh, uh, unfortunately, covers up his combo opportunity. And away from the TPs. He got to get on. He got to start working on something now. Actually, looks like he might have a good Puyo chain going on. Just has to pop it. Okay. Oh, let's see how Bar Senpai, he's kind of hurting right now. Let's see how he adjusts. Ah, uh, that's the trigger right there. Wow. Okay, so that heavy. thing is shaking. Uh, that's it. 
That is yep, it, my that man. Is it. Jesus. <laughs> he got to stall that bad. Yeah. Can't stall for that long, though. And he already <laughs> used his whole piece. So it's for all right now. It's like uh, if you just can't match your opponent's speed, it's like a ticking time bomb. Oh, yeah. You know, because if he's just going way faster than you, it's like you're going to eat a chain, a big old chain. Uh, uh, okay, he cashes out on his Tetris. Yeah, good Tetris setup over there. And Bar looks like he's looking for a back-to-back -back Tetris. Yep. And has uh, another one in store as yeah. soon as the board turns back. Which I imagine he'll he'll capitalize on even more with the swap combo. Dude, it's so discouraging to start out your Puyo side with nothing but trash on the first two like layers. It's like, how you gonna do me like that? <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's always a little bit easier to combo down trash when you have stuff underneath. Sometimes you might get lucky or... Okay, Ugh. you know, oh, he's gonna keep the chain Ugh. going too, yeah. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, he messed up. But That's I don't it. think it matters at that point. There's nothing to clear with... Ugh. As soon as you put this down... Yo, Tetris is cheap. Man. Actually, could stall. Gonna take all of this on the Puyo side. Uh. Uh. uh and he had a whole nother row. Oh, no. <laughs> so much. Had a whole nother half of a board and then some. Yo, this game is brutal. Absolutely. If you get behind, you're done. It's one of the things that I like about it. It's uh, as intense as a fighting game. You know, it's like um, it's like watching somebody's house burn down. They're building it up. I don't know about that one. Building a, yeah, they're building that house up in Tetris, you know. Then you got Bar Senpai over here dropping his chain <laughs> with a swap combo, and then they house, they house just start burning down. <laughs> All right, I, I, guess, I, I guess brutal was the right word, especially for you to go to that analogy. <laughs> That's just—I just feel strongly about losing in this game. So. I hear you. So that was. Um, are we gonna get losers finals next? I think it is gonna be losers finals. Sweet. Yep. We got Data Kara coming back up. So just give me my fighting commander. <laughs> so man, I, I forgot. I was supposed to tell the people uh, what's going on Saturday and Sunday on this stream. Tomorrow, I believe at noon, we have Ultra Street Fighter 4, right? Yes. I think that's right. Yeah, Ultra Street Fighter 4 or something else Be commentated by me and I think he may cut. Maybe. I don't, know. I don't know. I can't remember. I can pull up the schedule. All right, thanks. My phone is being used for hotspot <laughs> elsewhere. We appreciate your contributions. God bless. <laughs> It's God bless no, my it's, parents. It's a noble cause. <laughs> For the unlimited data. <laughs> <laughs> okay, tomorrow we have at 12 o'clock, we have BB Tag and Ultra uh, Street Fighter 4. And then 2 o'clock, we have Eunice and Street Fighter 5. 4 o'clock, we have the best game on the list, Sam Show. <laughs> and then MK11. And at 6 o'clock, we close out with Tech, uh, Tech 7, the classic. And on Sunday, we got, I don't know what PR is, and then we have Crack Team Racing. The classic. Did you say crack team racing? <laughs> I think you said crack team. Did I say crack team racing? <laughs> I think you said crack team racing. <laughs> Damn it, man. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll, I'll be commentating all day on Saturday. Uh, whichever one gets streamed, it's gonna be lit because I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I'll do my research though. So, like, you know, people used to speed run crack team racing, and I'm wondering. If the speed run glitches are still there. You never know. And if that's the case, can you use those in turn? I would love to see that. I don't know. This is the new one, though. Some of the glitches were removed, but not many of the shortcuts were changed. Kara out here. Yeah, still had that four wide going from a fantastic Puyo board. Right now, little Frank, I would like to see him switch up his strategy because he's getting killed by four wides right now. Oh, yeah. And it's like... um. 
How do you adjust to that, you know? Well, the only real combat is to do a four wide of your own, or to do a DT cannon. Just limit their ability. He's gonna go for a Tetris Well in the middle right here, though. Has that LP, so he needs to use it, right? Yep. Right, okay. Oh, okay, he got it, he got it, he gotta be quick, he gotta be quick. Gotta That's be quick. Say, don't spend it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, is he gonna get Has another eyepiece, though? Spend his eyepieces. Nah, 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 nah. No, that was early in the bag. Yeah. And Nani's gonna have a uh, swap combo here in a minute. She's setting up a GTR. Oh, she tried to set up a GTR and it messed up. So now she's gotta adjust. Ooh. Let's see. And she's gonna take a four chain into the rest Ooh. of her four wide. Oh, that hurts. Ah. She actually. Oh man. Can he survive it? No. No. Lord, no. Car did get hit with some bad luck. I guess good for her for finishing her combo there. Oh yeah, she adjusted. She had a S piece, an S piece, and a Z piece. When life gives you lemons, you just make lemonade. <laughs> Let's see what's going on. Little Frank looks like he's actually building faster than Carter right now. Yeah, he is. You were here, but I was telling Mr. Kim, uh, you never know who shows up to a con tournament. <laughs> and so when yeah, I just, I played it, Little I Frank in like Casuals it. a moment ago. Okay. I was like, oh my god, people know how to play Puyo. Randoms know how to play Puyo. I say randoms, that's kind of mean, sorry. I know what you meant, though. Yeah, yeah. Basically, it's like, oh. It's, you would think it's rare to know how to play Puyo, but you get hit with some stuff, man. I like that two board W from Little Frank though. Definitely won it in the Puyo side right there and just capped it off with some good Tetris play. Yeah. Going for some different stuff right here. Simultaneous clear. Okay. And Frank, he just stepped it up, man. A little four chain. I'm kind of digging this guy. Oh, okay. Kara got a T-span coming. Oh, she messed up. Is she gonna get the T-span? She'll be able to get a get double oh. out of there. Nah, she probably has it ready for the swap combo. That's another thing. People are playing so far ahead in this game. I'm kind of like a, a one-track mind guy. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's because you're a ball rock player. It makes sense. Yes. If you don't get hit by the first that straight, you got it. <laughs> oh, no. What's going on? All right, she's going to save it for the swap. Oh, okay. T-spin. Here it comes. All right. She's going to chain it. All right. Into the chain. Unfortunately, he left that hole over there. Yeah, going to keep her from comboing. Good stuff. Has another T-spin set up. Frank Just actually makes really good teeth. adjustments. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He makes really good adjustments. I'm very impressed with this guy. Good stuff. There's all that chain trash on the over right there. Side. That being said, Kara building pretty vertical. Not gonna have to worry too much about just a little bit of garbage. Got a good old healthy four chain right four chain, here. But being combated with a five chain. Sorry. A five chain with a simultaneous clear at the end. And Frank and Danger are topping out, but he, he makes it out. He makes it out. Actually gets a little swap right there. Throws and some garbage. Yeah. Okay. Kara lucky that garbage didn't interrupt her too bad. Nah, she's going to be all right. Say she drops a purple here. 
recover that for herself. Simultaneous clear to go into the swap. Hey, do simultaneous clears actually do anything for you? Or I think they give you a little bit of extra garbage. I could be wrong. I've been wrong before, many times, in fact. <laughs> Good stuff. This is some great. Is he gonna back. survive? Oh, he lived. He's topped out as soon as the board switches, though. He's gonna have to win it on this board. He gotta kill it right here. My man gotta go at light speed. That being said, he just used all of his fuel last time the board switched. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. Uh, nah, 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 nah. nah Nani's in good shape. Immediate top yeah. out. All right, three one Kara. I guess since you didn't survive long enough, you probably didn't get to hear how the rules work for top three. Okay. Uh, it's just five rounds. Okay. Once you get the top three. Five rounds. Yeah, first of five rounds. Throw that eyepiece there. No, I, f I personally feel that the better use of the eyepiece would be to set up that one column on the side. But you know, that's why little Frank is up there and I'm not. <laughs> you know, I'm very interested to know why um, Kara is not running her uh, uh, center four wide right now. I wonder if it's because the pace that Frank is putting on her has made her change what she wants to do. I know she doesn't consider herself the best Tetris player by any means, and okay. she certainly is fast. Uh, maybe it is just a coping fail. I think little Frank probably shouldn't have cleared those upper lines with the skim. Maybe should have gone for the Tetris and then tried to continue on a two wide. Ooh. See, I don't know where the trigger is. Me neither. I was just thinking the same thing. Okay. Okay, there it is. Four chain. Five, Five. chain. Six chains. Six. That's gonna hurt. Lord. Kara has the down stacking capability though. Ooh. She, ugh. She's she mitigated a lot of that damage. Oh, oh never mind. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, it's not quite enough right there. All right, three, two. Yo, when it rain, it pours. Hey. The swap combo is just so devastating. It is, man. I, borderline cheap. That thing is busted. <laughs> and they even, like, nerfed Puyo at one point. Did they? Yeah. There's been a couple patches for this game, I think. But one of them, they said, yo, rebalance Puyo. Rebalance Puyo and swap. Rebalance Puyo versus Tetris. Uh, rebalance Puyo and Puyo versus Tetris versus mode. My <laughs> <laughs> well, good lord. <laughs> You just change the garbage lines that it sends. Yeah. Yeah, Puyo's uh, multiplier used to be huge. We're talking to our streamer, by the way. He asked how you would nerf Puyo. Um, yeah, it has to do a lot about the garbage balance across the different games. Tetris will send a weird number of lines over to Puyo, or a weird number of garbage Puyos to Puyo, and Puyo sends, like, just so much, so many lines over to Tetris. Little Frank off with his mental math a little bit, and that's gonna cost him. Covers up his only opportunity to dig out of this. I wonder what he's gonna go for on a Tetris side. I don't know, but he's gonna have to do it fast. Yeah, and he's got four a four wide set up. This might be an execution right here. This might be um, six. Oh, he's defending. Seven. He's defending. Oh, oh, he's got the he's got the LT. Oh, okay. the Tetris. Oh, oh. ah, <laughs> man. And he just opts to hold it and That's then. It. Uh, 
I feel like if he got that Tetris at an earlier time, he would have been all right. Man. Yeah, if he got that eyepiece, it might have canceled right there. Because that would have been, what, the six combo and a Tetris? Yes. That w <sighs> How many lines would that be? Like, Tetris Ten is four. lines? And then a six, uh, six chain, right? Well, yeah, or, yeah, yeah, six combo. I think that six is one of the extra line points. Is it? I think. I think. Like I said, I've been wrong before. <laughs> Many times. Okay, Nani casts out early. We go for a two chain. Over on little Frank's okay, side. Okay, got swap combo. Defense. Oh, did not opt for the T spin. Okay. He trying to he trying to do something with that ZP. Yeah, if he'd held the T and given the Z in there, he could have probably had a little bit of an easier time. Might he might be getting nervous now? This is last lifeline right here. Yeah. Yeah, he spent about seven seconds just trying to put that last uh, L piece down, and it's really cost him. And trying to down stack a little bit. And uh, Kara has a healthy, healthy Puyo side and a healthy Tetris side. That's it. Just decides to top himself out. Good stuff to Kara. She's going to stay up there to fight Bara Senpai in Grand Finals. Yeah, Frank doesn't look too happy about that, but no. he did good. He played well. Yeah. I think he was very competitive in that set. I think when he registered, he's one of the ones who wasn't on Smash GG yet. Okay. Or no, no, no. He did. He pre-registered for this. So he actually did come to play. Just I'm, I'm unknown to me, okay. personally. I wonder how much tournament experience he has. Is this his first tournament? Oh, man? No. He did great. Got third. I'll search him up on Smash GG later. He's, he's definitely getting an invite to the Discord. <laughs> <laughs> If he's not in there already, I don't know. You know, the Puyo players, they be creeping, man. They yeah, know they're good, too. But that's the crazy part. Puyo you players, secret secret top-tier puzzlers of the world. Yes. Yes. It's a hard game, man. So hard. And then it's so much to learn. And there's timing. There's knowing your opponent. It's in, like, the small adjustments. They could change the whole set, so. And unlike Tetris, you know, you only get to see two pieces ahead. Uh, it's not far. You gotta, you gotta be predictive. You gotta build in a way that's very flexible. Um, I don't know. To me, still learning Puyo. It almost feels like five color Puyo would be as much more difficult as it is a little bit easier in terms of flexibility. Right. Because now there's a lot of points where you really have to worry about color coordination and maybe colors clashing with each other to break your chain. Okay. I don't know. That may be, you know, Puyo Puyo Tetris 2. We're playing five color Puyo as part of standard. Five colors? That would be right, crazy. You, you dude. lost me. I can't. <laughs> they add another column. I'm like, I can't do it. It's too much. <laughs> well, we got grand finals here. Bara Senpai on the winner's side, Data Kara and Losers. And these two are like training partners. They played each other so many times. Wow. Bara Senpai, Bara Senpai starting out with a what six chain. What a quick chain. six wow. chain. Oh, she got an all clear. All though. clear. Good stuff. Unfortunately, doesn't do too much in the way of clearing that extra garbage. Oh, it dropped right where. Okay, okay. She's good. She's good. She's got to get this eye piece going. Um, she can't cash out on the all clear until she um, confirms it, right? Confirms another Puyo. I don't really understand how the Puyo all clear works. Oh, she got two eye pieces now. I want to. Oh! Not sure what happened right there. Me neither. I guess she accidentally misclicked. I don't know. But I, I know she I wants know. to cast this out. So, yeah, maybe the all clear bonus happens. I think it happens when you clear the next uh, chain pop. There you go. So, so she used it. It's not going to do too much guarding, though. Stops a lot of that. She should probably take half of this in Puyo. Because that might be the rounds on Tetris' side. Yep. And Bara Senpai comes out strong with the um, Puyo. This is Grand Final, so Kara's going to have to win two sets of five games. <laughs> oh, no, I'm good. Appreciate it. Ah. Nice, refreshing monster energy. See, Bara Senpai just building so fast so over there, quick. man. Hi, yeah, sure. Kara did a short change just to block a little bit. 
Oh, uh, uh, okay. Never mind. Wow. Ah, Barson probably gonna set up the T spin here to try and capitalize on swap combo. I was a little bit late on it. Yeah. She cleared a lot of it. Uh, she's gonna let it fall on the Puyo side. Good stuff. So it's just gonna fall. She's oh, wow. for it's three a star. chain right here. My bad. One chain. Two chain. She want to clear it or no? No. Okay, Carl. No, that's gonna be the round. Yep, 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 yep. Wow. <laughs> and of course, maximum disrespect. The game won't oh, let you in. You have end. to watch it? Yes. You have oh, to finish the chain. <laughs> that's so savage. <laughs> Dang. Tetris just ends immediately. <laughs> Puyo Sling, nah, uh, here you go. <laughs> Watch these Puyos pop. Alright, now nah, 90 set, uh, I mean, Kara Senpai setting up the full wide. Here we go. Bar right. Senpai trying to combat it with the DT cannon. You kind of limit how high your opponent can build. That being said, he's opting to build his following four wide first. A little bit of a was that a miss? Couple miss drops there from Bar okay. Senpai, definitely. So uh, Kara can actually take advantage of this. She got a, a nice chain going too. Doesn't quite have good stuff. Her. Okay. Bar Senpai actually has quite a bit to dig out right here. Yeah, Luckily, this is kind of intimidating. Okay. Finds the greens and that's going to set him up for a pretty good chain. A, oh man! Actually, doesn't have the greens to continue. This could decide damage. everything. And there's a lot of noise going on. See, look at this. Kara is sending damage now. That 10 combo? 11? <laughs> we got some, yeah. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Let's all get hyped for four wides. Yeah, yeah. four wides. <laughs> Yo, next you got an AA to the Puyo chains. <laughs> That was some high octane Puyo Puyo Tetris right there. <laughs> yeah, so once you get to 10, you send an additional five lines of garbage. Oh, e that, is that why it's the magical number? Yeah, that's why it's the magic number. Which means, in essence, you you kill somebody if they, if they just soft drop and they haven't placed anything to counter in yeah. defense. You kill them immediately once you hit 11. At least that's what I was told. The number might be off. I might be wrong. Like I said, <laughs> I've been wrong for four or five. That's a very strong Puyo start from Bara Senpai. Kara is going to get a short four wide here, here we to go. counter the swap Nine combo. The Actually gets to send a little bit of garbage on her own. That swap combo is just so strong, man. It is. And Bar Senpai defending. See, Bar I'm Senpai with some indecision, but you're gonna find him a pretty good combo. I'm pretty sure, er, like, everybody in this room except Bar Senpai with a top down right there. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would not have the foresight to turn that into a T spin. Yeah, me neither. See, this is another big chain coming out here with Bar Senpai. It's just going all directions across the board. Dang, and how is Kara going to defend that? Ooh, she's, she's got a fallen, pretty okay. good combo opportunity right here. Oh, oh misses the eye spin. Okay, she's still, she's still fighting it. She she's living. still fighting it. Oh, oh. That's going to be it. Actually, I don't know if the eyepiece could have spun into that hole. It's That's the weirdest one to me. I swear, I'm more consistent on, like, the S and Z spins than I am on any I spin. Oh, PC setup. No. Just for the DT cannon again. Which, if he doesn't mess up this time, is going to be a great count of the four wide. But he's kind of slow building it. I see he wants to build the following four wide. Wow. Double. Oh, you know why. He did it at an efficient time in his bag. He can still get the, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? The back-to-back. -back. 
but he's probably going to have to waste pieces and turn his 4 wide into a 2 wide or a 3 wide. Mm. Pretty unfortunate. And Kara's going to put the pressure on. Limit him to a 1 chain going in. This is a bad position for Bar Senpai. He has a shorter 4 wide here, but Kara, despite the garbage, was able to battle back just as far. Eight. Nine. Ten. Right, got the ten. She got Eleven. The that's gonna be and it gonna for Bar yeah, Senpai. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Top out. Good stuff to Kara. Keep her that composure. Absolutely. Really, really capitalizing on Bar Senpai's mistakes. Look and they having fun out there. Oh yeah. These two have played each other thousands of games, I'm sure. Pop millions of Puyos against each other. <laughs> Puy a Puyo graveyard? There's dead Puyos everywhere? <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> the stream is rated PG-13. It's a good thing that you can't hear the streamer. Oh, uh, <laughs> won't crack us up, though. The stream is mad distracting, huh? <laughs> All right, Bar Senpai. I think this time, yes. Yeah. He needs yeah. to go for it he's early. Been double. He spin triple. That was so damaging, but see how this limits the four wide here. Yeah. It does. Only gonna be able to get a six or a seven off of it. And of course, not much to work with on Puyo's side. She popped it a little bit early, trying to get some defense going. Oh, the, the Puyo is strong. Hey. Uh, this is uh, not good, Houston. <laughs> <laughs> she probably should have taken half of that in Puyo's side because she's out of combo opportunities. Never mind. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Never here we mind. Go. Yeah. Yeah. Even if she made it clear with that T piece, it was going to be over on the next turn. She ran out of combo opportunities. This yeah, it's so unforgiving. We actually have a, a pretty good crowd watching Puyo out here. Oh, yeah, this is a crowd pleaser. People yeah. love watching this game. There is nothing more impressive than watching somebody do something well that you struggle at and just can't can't fathom doing. Exactly. That's why we have entertainment. That's, what, that's why sports are yeah. so valued. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Masterful side building over here from Bara Senpai. Hey guys, if you're entered in Dragon Ball Fighter Z or Guilty Gear XR Rep 2, please leave the tournament center, please. Well, I'm sure I'll finish this up before I go play Guilty Gear. Are they streaming Guilty Gear next or Soul Calibur? Uh, it should be Soul Calibur, but there weren't many Soul Calibur players. Yeah, it's so all wrong. Honestly, Robin. it may be over. Three. Four. All right, here we go. Is Kara Senpai going to get the 10 chain with the swap combo? They're both rushing it. Kara Senpai working on his own. All right, he opts out of it. Kara working on the 10 chain. Nine. You know she wants 11. Uh, oh, she had the eye. Oh, she didn't. Okay. Actually, like I said, I don't know if the eye would have even worked right there. Probably not. At any rate, that was some great defense from Boris. That Boris was Senpai. amazing. <laughs> you come out of that with only five Puyos? That's garbage? <laughs> what? Dang. Want to talk about defense? And Boris Senpai still threatening. A strong offense is literally the same. <laughs> it's a good defense. All right. Okay. Kara going to set up her... Middle four wide again. Yep. Bar Senpai with a lot more garbage, but has a quick T-spin set up there. Good stuff. Now All right. She, now she can Time defend. to pop it. She's got great pieces for this, too. Bring the uh, O in. Yeah, she wasn't going to be able to complete it. Oh, that's just unfortunate. Kara might be able to make it work. Yep. 
Okay, guys, please, no drinks by the console. Please, no drinks by the console. Looking bad. Uh, she gonna no, she didn't. Okay, now she okay, okay. She has the pieces to do a little bit of saving here. And Bar looks like he did a misclick right there. She got that hole. That might kill him. That might that might hurt him. Oh, yep. good stuff from Kara. Yeah, survive. Turned it into offense. And it's crazy because like the more the longer you survive, the more chances your opponent has to mess up. Oh, that too. Yeah. One misdrop, you know, leaving a hole somewhere low on your board can absolutely right, can screw somebody. Let's see, Kara has the right pieces. Could I also get uh, I Flames versus Azrael on the second setup? Ugh. Quick little two chain. That's the cool thing about GTR, you can confirm it extremely early. Oh, yeah. It's a combo with your chain, no problem. It looked like Barra was expecting that early um, confirm and just playing accordingly. Really didn't put much garbage over there. Oh, this. Woo! Grant on her. Uh, okay, Bar Senpai had an equally large chain over there. 14. Ah, ooh. Oh, is he gonna ooh. survive? Whoa, is he. Okay, nah, 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 nah. nah. Woo, we got a tie game. We got a tie game for four. Tournament point for Bar Senpai, set point for Kara. She's gonna have to reset it. If she does, we're in for a long, long ride. Yeah. And it's just mentally draining. Oh yeah, man. I'm getting kind of tired watching. They're just leaps and bounds above <laughs> you and me. <laughs> like they fighting in the Matrix. <laughs> I'm sure like these 25 seconds to them, Feels like a 99 second round to us. <laughs> oh no, Carl with the miss click. I think that Bar Senpai actually could have gone for a perfect clear there. Yeah, she's gonna finish her chain early. She's gonna have to go for a quick one. That's not a bad base to build on. Uh, you can clear uh, back down to it pretty okay, quickly. Okay, back to back. Can't set up another one. And I think now. Both players are starting to feel the pressure. I'm starting to see a lot of execution errors now. Yeah, I think that this is going to be it for Kara. Either on the swap or right this now. Gonna stall as long as she can. Okay, she. Oh, uh, is she gonna stop nah. this? She has a gap in there. So she can't get her chain is very yeah, limited. That's it. Yep, that's it. Alright, good stuff to okay, Bar Senpai. Good stuff to both players. That last set was ridiculous. That was very, very close, man. Ridiculous. Hey, you get an applause for everybody. Yeah, <laughs> everybody, I feel like everybody was on that journey. Puzzle <laughs> community is out here. I know, right? They're, they're a good group of folks. There's a huge crowd over here. Yeah. Everybody watch it. <sighs> man. That was fun to watch. Like you said, it's always fun to watch people do stuff that yeah. you can't do. And Tetris, everybody's played Tetris. So, yes, everybody knows how hard it is to do quickly and competitively. And everybody who knows how hard Tetris is can appreciate how hard other puzzle games are. So even I if Puyo is... I saw, I no, saw. No, you him. left that one <laughs> hole. Uh, she left the gap. <laughs> <sighs> I know she fell in that one. I know she fell in that one. Cool, cool. You're good, guys. Oh, uh, yo, what game we got coming up next for the um, viewers? We're... All right. Soul Calibur is next. Hopefully, if we have enough people to play. Soul Calibur, I think, had six people, and it's round robin, myself included. Oh. But I do not know if it's running or if they finished it off. Oh, yeah. Okay. Soul Calibur's already over. And we got Dragon Ball on stream oh, next. Oh, we got Dragon Ball. I don't okay. know who's commentating Dragon Ball, but it's sure as hell not me. Me neither. Bro. Pardon the four-letter word. I, I got you on the lore. 
you know, I got you on the lore. You want to know Dragon Ball lore? I got you, but uh, let's see. You're on the wrong page, dog. Commentary. I'm going to crap. Oh, you're running the bracket. I'm sorry yeah, for yeah, you. Yeah, I'm running <laughs> the Dragon Ball bracket, so I guess I got to go get up and do that. So I'll catch y'all later. Let me see that. Yep. All right, I hope y'all enjoyed some Puyo Puyo touches. We got some more uh, competitive gaming coming up to you next, so yeah, stay tuned. Guys, thanks so much for stopping by the Data FGC stream. I hope you continue to stick around for the evening. Uh, we're going to have a good time here for the rest of the weekend at Southern Fry Gaming Expo. Give us a follow both here and on Twitter. Uh, we'll let you know when we're live again. We appreciate your time. We appreciate your viewership. And stick around, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm going to step off as we wait for the next game.